Okay, welcome back. It's the Conversation Arena. The lady in question who plays against the big boys out there in the magazine world, Lisa Messenger, joins me tonight on the Conversation Arena. How are you? Fantastic, Ben. <laughs> How's that, always? Hey, uh, you're always... I love this. Look, just stand up. You've got to show people oh, what you're... This is so What the hell not? Oh, I love... Oh, don't worry about that. It's so damn cool. I just love that jacket. And it weighs... Thank you. How heavy is that jacket? Quite heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't go out in the rain. You could get hit by lightning Ooh. with all that metal. Now, look, you've been a busy girl. You've uh, put the I magazine know. to bed again. New cover and everything. What, what's happening in this month's mag? A few new mags, actually, since I we noticed last, that. last spoke. I just had Martha Stewart on the latest issue, which yeah. has been amazing. Yeah, oh. when I Yeah, it's actually an amazing story, but I did the interview over the phone. Yeah. But I went, I met her vice president in Rome last year at a conference, yep. and then she said, if you're coming to New York, you must come and see the offices <laughs> and meet Martha, and I said, as a matter of fact, I'm there next week. And so I went in, and they're just the most phenomenal offices I've really? ever been to on the planet. So that issue is currently out, and flying off the shelves, which is great. And interesting, because we had a... She's 20... an entrepreneur, isn't she? Oh, she is extraordinary. And I'm really trying to shake it up and keep it fresh. We had a 24-year-old mm. Gary Pepper on the yes. previous cover. And then Martha's 72. Yes. Doesn't look a day no, over 40. No, she doesn't. She's put out over 8,500 products. I mean, she's a Good serious grief. entrepreneur. So I was really pleased to see, actually, that there's sort of no discrimination between someone young doing yes. something extraordinary and someone slightly older doing slightly something older. extraordinary. Did you ask her where she gets that drive from and how she comes up with some of those ideas? Yeah, I did. And what did she say? She just, she, I don't want to get old? Yeah, well, actually, it's really interesting. Martha said, and I relate, she sees inspiration in everything. And I think the reality wow. in life is, you know, if you're open to it, there yeah. are opportunities absolutely everywhere. And I think that's very much her mandate. So, How and cool. funny on the age thing, she's a clever cookie. She, her, <laughs> latest <laughs> her latest venture uh, amongst many yes. is that she's um, set up this, uh, I was about to say old person's home, that's not yeah. very PC. <laughs> Retirement <laughs> village. <laughs> Retire Luxury resort. But quite a sophisticated one, I mm -hmm. think. So um, why wouldn't you? If you why own that business you? and you're kind of, you know, reaching the other end of that scale, mm -hmm. then, you know, you've sort of set yourself up for life. Mm. However, she did also tell me that she plans on living to 110, and she also told me she uses 26 face creams every month. <laughs> so I think I might start to adapt some of that as well. Do you know, um, when you talk to someone like that, did she talk to you about her time when she had to go to prison? Mm, I Is that a reference point? You know, I didn't go there. No. I didn't go there specifically. A, because I've mentioned it in the article sure. with her. Because, you know, it's why, there. why it's, would it's you? A fact. It's kind of there. Yeah. It's the elephant in the room. So it would have mm. been remiss of me not to. Yeah. But I didn't ask her. Because no. the reality is I wanted to ask much more kind of poignant things. Mm. I don't... I'm not after chasing kind of the salacious no, gossip. I'm no. after kind of the real story. And let's face it, at 72, it's like one blip on her radar. I'm oh, sure exactly. I plan on having a lot more blips by the time I'm 72. So let's let it go. <laughs> exactly. But, you know, like, what did you learn from her? I mean, you must have been in awe sitting in front of her. Yeah, well, we did this over the phone. So, oh, that's right. Um, that's... Yeah, but I met briefly in New York. Look, she... Yeah, I don't get nervous ever, if you can no, believe. No, I know it's amazing. You crash tackled me before we went on air, but there you go. <laughs> and I've met so many and continue to meet and, you know, so many extraordinary people. And yeah. I, I'm humbled on a daily basis by who I get to meet now, yeah. yourself included. Yeah, ben. but, but I'm, the, I'm the same. I actually find your energy so infectious. Like, I love when you come on <laughs> because, you know what, it's like... That energy, it's a kinetic energy, and it is. It opens up this other world, doesn't it? Yeah, thank you. Sky's the limit type thing. Absolutely. But it's funny, back to your previous question, with Martha, Good I'm going to tell you, it's, it's kind of a funny story because I actually was a little bit nervous yeah. just because, you know, she's such an extraordinary woman, really, yeah. in terms of what she's done. Mm -hmm. I mean, she went from being a stockbroker to... But, you know, buying, household, no. buying this house in the middle of the country and like a dilapidated cottage and doing it up to having, you know, eight and a half thousand products and and really across every mm -hmm. single medium possible. possible. And it was funny because my dog, Benny, who, yeah, you, I know. who you know well. Who I'm named after. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your namesake. So Benny does this massive vomit. Sorry, I'm so great again. In the lift just before I'm about to get on the phone to Martha, right? Right. And the reason I mention that is I think it's it's kind of important because everyone sees, you know, your glamorous yeah, life and yeah. all the fabulous things yes. that we do. Yeah. And, you know, we all... Um, 
post the best version of ourselves. And here I'm about to call, you know, mm -hmm. one of the four names in the US, really. Yeah. And Benny does this thing in the lift. And I'm thinking, I'm having this toss up thinking, <laughs> right, do I be a good citizen and clean this up? and potentially miss the phone call yeah. or do, do I take the freaking phone call and like leave the vomit going up and down the lift? And which one did I you do? how we got onto vomit, but anyway. You left the vomit in the no lift. No filters. No filters. No, I cleaned it up. Did you? And, and anyway, then by the time Martha and I actually connected with each other, it's actually quite funny, she said to me, Lisa, where the hell have you been? And I said... Oh, and she said, only joking, like she's got a real sense of humour. So it was, it was a good start to the interview. Needless to say, I did not tell her about the previous mishap. No, 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 no. <laughs> I did an interview once with uh, Andy Williams, like this is really quite funny. Mm. And I'm sitting in my studio and I'm about to do the interview and we, we had two dogs at the time and this dog Bella was barking. And I opened the door and I'm like, you stop barking. And then anyway, my brother went out and crash tackled the dog because we're doing this interview and I'm sitting there in this little booth going, I can't believe I'm interviewing Andy Williams. This is the coolest <laughs> day of my life. And I said to him, I'm looking at you on a, on a wonderful cover from 1954. And he said, add 74 years to that. And now I'm an old man. So whatever I look like there, I don't look like that anymore. <laughs> but Martha, I, t I think Martha has that wonderful youthfulness about her that people can look at her and she's like your mum, she's your grandma. She represents something in everybody's life. Yeah, and I'm really pleased. I mean, we've got some, you know, some solid sales data now coming in on that issue, and I'm really, really pleased that it's doing well because mm. I was slightly frightened, actually, that, you know, Gary Pepper, who's 24, mm. may outsell Martha, mm. and she still may, mm. but um, I really wanted to be able to recognise and honour, you know, people who've really had several decades in mm. business and really have something quite extraordinary and you know inspirational to teach us so I'm really pleased that it's been so well received. Now you've been talking about inspiration yes. I've been following you on Facebook and Twitter <laughs> you are a busy girl you get around the country unconvention so, yes what's going on there I can't <laughs> believe how many people go to those functions they're all cool entrepreneurs it's yeah it's and Jack and you have a bit of a powerhouse up there on stage. <laughs> yes, we are. Um, yeah. See, I knew you'd do this to me. <laughs> He's uh, lovely, Jack. Jack's amazing. You two are lovely together. Yes, we are. Yes, you are. See, we've got to get photos of that for the next issue. But, so, but tell me, Jack's the big driver of that. He is. And he, he's Where does he get his vision from for that? He's actually extraordinary, like really extraordinary. And um, I had not met Jack before, and Claire, my marketing director, met Jack a few months before I did the Unconvention mm. Tour with them. And just really resonated, I think, their philosophy and our philosophy mm. um, very much around, you know, positivity and insp mm. inspiration and helping entrepreneurs and giving them a leg up and, um, and really inspiring them and showing them that, there's any that anything is possible. So mm -hmm. Claire lined up um, these speaking gigs for me in mm. Brisbane, Sydney and Melbourne. And then I had so much fun doing those that I also did Perth and Adelaide. <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> And look, I think, you know, when you just mm. meet um, someone the and also... Been amazing. Yeah, it's been really extraordinary and really, really happy. I think um, they're doing amazing work at, you know, educating entrepreneurs mm. around mm -hmm. this country. And Jack is phenomenal. I mean, he's 27. Mm -hmm. He's um, had a really interesting history and we did... An, um, there's an article actually in the Martha issue on Jack three pages and now that I know Jack substantially better, mm. I would actually have written the article very differently because yeah. I... Um, almost don't think it does him justice like he's mm. um he's had an extraordinary extraordinary life he's um you know f from a from a experience perspective he's well 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 beyond his years and it's mm. very rare that you actually meet someone mm -hmm. um of that caliber so, and of that age yeah and of that age exactly so um yeah so 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 it's a pretty amazing tour so you're doing the tour what 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 are the young people talking about in entrepreneurialism? What, what, are they, what are they gathering from you? And did you come across any cool ideas that people are working on? Yeah, look, I was just, you know, it's really nice and humbling. I mean, in Sydney we did, uh, we had an audience of 1,200. In yeah. Brisbane I think it was like 800. So I think all in all we probably spoke to over 5,000 people. 
Wow. Um, and you know the energy, and I can feel my energy. Just feel like when oh, I'm yeah, with you, yeah. when you're on a stage and you're kind of rocking it out yeah. with that many people kind of cheering you on in the yeah. audience and lapping it up and genuinely wanting to know what you're talking about mm. and have a genuine interest, and you know that hopefully they're going to go away and implement it. Mm. It's just like this little powerhouse. So yeah, I just had like 50 minutes or so on the stage every time, and a lot of what I talk about is um, a that I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time, <laughs> <laughs> and that naivety in business, you know, can be. A really great thing, yeah. and that you know, disruption um, and being a rebel is a good thing yeah. because you know, with the collective, as you know, it's one of the biggest launches I in Australian it. history. In fact, it is the biggest launch mm. in Australian history in terms of our distribution footprint. Mm -hmm. And so, to be able to stand up on a stage, you know, and in front of that many it. people and say, because people get so fearful, you know, fear of failure, fear of success, mm. whatever it happens to be. So, to be able to say that I've never had any magazine experience whatsoever and that we did this massive launch and that we're now in 25 countries and we mm. plan on being in 50 by the end mm -hmm, of the year. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, that's really my message. It's around, you know, find something that you're absolutely passionate about, mm. have an unwavering self-belief, mm. surround yourself with an incredible team, mm. disrupt the hell out of whatever industry you're exactly. going into. Don't be, afraid to fa don't be afraid to fail, but mm. fail fast. Mm. And, um, and that's really my message, you know. And... And just, you know, walking off the stage mm. and all these people kind of coming up to you and going, I can do it now as well. I can do well. it, I can do it. And so you asked where I get my energy from. That's where I get my mm. energy from. It's from these extraordinary people that, you know, they just want to get out there and do it. So if I can be a bit self-deprecating and put myself in a position um, to say that, look, I'm just little old me, country girl from the middle of nowhere, <laughs> and I'm doing this, yeah. then they can too. So yeah, it's been it's a great cool. tour. I think it's really, really cool. So there you go. We've been chatting about some really cool stuff. Of course, the magazine. Get out and get a copy of it now. And I love the unconvention stuff. I'm going to go along to one of the tours. Yeah, it's um, amazing. And hang out with you guys because I think it's just a really cool thing. Lisa Messenger glitzed up on the <laughs> Conversation Arena. I just love that. And uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah, thanks, Ben. Thanks, so Lisa, for joining us. Fantastic. More coming up right after this. Um...